Welcome to People to People. I'm Courtney Guzman in for Michael Mater. Happy New Year to you. I hope you're enjoying your 2016. Let's start our show now with the city looking for answers in the way police interact with the community. Chicagoans are also asking how they can better serve their own communities. One of the solutions may be found in the Bronzeville Dream Center led by Pastor Chris Harris. He joins us here on set to talk about his Dream Center. Welcome. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much for allowing me to be here with you today. Thank you. So tell us about your Dream Center. Um, how long has it been around? Um, I know it's Bright Star Community Outreach. That's where you operate under. That's correct. Um, Bright Star Community Outreach is the offshoot of our church, Bright Star Church in Bronzeville on 44th Street, 735 East 44th Street. And we realize as a church, we have to do more than have worship. So we always say at Bright Star Church, when uh, worship ends, service should begin. Mm -hmm. So we started our community outreach component, separate 501c3, where we do uh, family advocacy uh, training. We do a lot of mentorship work. We also have a after school program where we house more than 119 children every single day. And we realized, we said, we needed to make sure that if we're going to say something about violence, mm -hmm. we need to do something about violence. And that's, that brings me to a good point because you guys do counseling. That's exactly right. Tell me about this counseling. I took a trip to uh, Israel uh, in December of 2012, and I saw something that blew my mind. Those who live under the constant threat of violence and trauma, uh, they go to this place in Tel Aviv called Natal, mm -hmm. and a light went off in my head. And I'll be honest, even though I found it during an educational trip uh, to the Holy Land, if I had saw it in Gary, I believe the same lights would have went off. Here's the question. If more than 1,800 people have been murdered in Chicago alone, not including those who have been shot or wounded, the question is, who does or did the post-trauma counseling for those families? In no most one. cases, Courtney, nobody. Right. Because typically black and brown people, not exclusively, but mainly, uh, we don't go to counseling for four reasons. We don't know the counselor. We don't trust the counselor. Many times we don't think we can afford the counselor. And fourth, and most tragically, uh, that stigma. Nobody wants to be labeled crazy. We're, we fear counseling. I agree with That's that. That's exactly right. And so we decided if someone gets shot or wounded, typically they still call the faith community. So I said, I want to take faith leaders, identify, train, and certify them to do post training trauma counseling based on that Israeli model. And so we've been working on this now for three years and it's coming to pass. So you're working with families who've experienced loss, especially right. with gun violence. How many families have you worked with? Not just loss with gun violence, all kinds of trauma, because all violence is not gun violence. What about abuse? What about verbal abuse and so many other things? And so uh, for the last four years, even though Bright Star Community Outreach has been around for eight years, we have the data and we have been able to service more than uh, 1,100 families. Wow. Uh, we have been able to give more than 400 something jobs for, after school, for the after school program as well as the summer jobs. And then when it comes to Family Advocacy Center through DCFS, we've been able to go into the homes and decrease the risk factors and increase the protective factors in more than 480 families. So we say we want to expand this footprint of service through the Bronzeville Dream Center work. So how are you measuring this level of success? Because I know you, you've uh, worked with a lot of families here, sure. so how are you measuring your success here. So this is what will blow you away. Uh, when I first brought this idea uh, to Chicago, the mayor just happened to come by my church and say, what are you guys working on? We told him. He connected me to Dean Harrison, who is the president and CEO of Northwestern Hospital. They believed in this vision so much till they started to pour into this and partner with us. Oh. Then I reached out to my friends at the University of Chicago. They say, you and our footprint, you and our backyard, we want to be a part of it. And then they also brought on the United Way to come and help us with evaluation and metrics and fiscal responsibility. And so we've been able to make sure that we track those families mm -hmm. and we're seeing a significant decrease in violence, not only in their homes, but in the community that they literally live in and the blocks that they live on. So we're following those numbers and holding ourselves accountable to don't want dollars if we can't provide data. So very important to mention, you guys are trying to build here and yes. expand. Bronzeville Dream Center, you want to build. You're needing $2.9 million. You That's guys exactly are having right. a fundraiser. Tell me about that. That's right. On January 17th, we're really, really excited about this. This is Bright Star Community Outreach's first fundraiser. And we're trying our best to raise money to provide programming and to have a facility. That's January 17th, uh, 3 o'clock until 7 o'clock p.m. at Bourbon Street. It's the largest entertainment complex on the south side of Chicago. And just so we know, you're trying to build this in Bronzeville. That's Where right. Where did you tell me? 40? 45th and Cottage Grove. It's a wonderful facility, 30,000 square feet, three floors. And we want the Bronzeville Dream Center to be a place where those who have been living a nightmare, they can go there and build hope and start dreaming again. All right, Pastor Harris, thanks so much for being with Thank us. Thank you Great so job. much. We really appreciate We're it. Excited Especially about the work you're doing in the community. Pleasure is all mine.
Caroline. Thanks for having me. All right. The Bright Star Community Outreach will host their Youth Violence Prevention Fundraiser, as Pastor Harris just mentioned. That's going to be at 115 Bourbon Street Entertainment Complex in Marionette Park. For more information, just visit brightstarchurchchicago.com.